Hi everyone, welcome to the Yervant Tech. Today I'm going to show you a bit of Photoshop. This technique, I've been doing it for so many years. It gives us the best black and white results out of Photoshop. Files are RGB, color. So there's a lot of color information. So to get a good black and white, we need to get rid of some of the channels, some of the inf color information. So it's only the black and white left in there. In the old days, we used to photograph black and white film or color film, black and white paper or color paper. So when we used the black and white paper and printed on color, it used to look very flat. So uh, times have changed, of course, and it's all digital, but there's still a technique I use and constantly all my black and whites look amazing printed on RGB printers. I've got this beautiful image here. It's a street photography, what I love to shoot. It's a wedding. The picture really looks amazing, but I want to convert this picture into a beautiful black and white. So there's a lot of softwares that I can convert into black and white, even convert the picture to grayscale and backwards. But the problem is it's not true black and white. In the old days, I used to use a Film, black and white film, black and white paper, color film, color paper. If I printed a, black, a color image on a black and white paper, it looked flat. So this is the same also here. So I've been using this technique for so many years and all my black and whites look amazing. So uh, if we go to the channels and click on the red or on the green, whichever you want, it gives us different effects of black and whites or combined different effects of colors. But what I want to do is get rid of all the color information and convert the picture into a real black and white. So if we go to uh, mode, lab color, it's in the menus, mode, lab color, then select layer A, delete, select alpha 2 and delete again. A beautiful black and white. We, we got rid of all the colors. So now we convert it to uh, grayscale and then convert it to RGB. And now we have a perfect black and white. The next thing we have to do is just, because there's so much grayscale in this picture, we convert it to uh, mid level, just darken, lighten, whichever way you want to go. And there you go. It's a perfect black and white. So easy and so quick. Okay, that was quite easy. Now I'm gonna show you how I create actions. So I can keep this as an action and all I have to do is press the action button or do a batch processing with this. So all my images that need to be converted to black and white will have a happen quickly. So let's have a look. So here's another image. Uh, what I'll do is I'll create a new action set so let's call it uh, like Yervant Actions. Okay, that sounds good. And now let's create a new action. New action and let's call it black and white. Black and white. So when I click on this action, it will automatically convert into black and white. Click OK and now I will do the same procedure again. Let's start, convert it to lab color, click on A, delete, click on uh, alpha A1, delete. Now convert this to grayscale and now convert it to RGB. So there it is. Let's open the labels. And let's let's correct this now just a bit. There we go, a bit darker. Perfect. That's good. Okay, click OK. 
Here we go, I have another black and white, but this time, if you see on the right, I've created an, uh, an action there. So, that's it. Let me stop my action and continue. So, now that I've created the action, I can just press the action button and this or any image will become into a great black and white but constantly great black and white. So when you print on an RGB printer, they look amazing, they look beautiful, and there won't be different changes in tones because they're real black and whites. So, so you can run a badge action and create amazing result. Here I have a new image. So let me run the action. So it's so quick and so easy. Look, click on the action. There you go. Correct the levels. Okay. And I have a perfect black and white. Took less than a second. This is a great technique. You can save as an action and it always works, guys. Amazing. <laughs> Wasn't that cool? Quick action, happens quickly and get good results. I'm gonna share a lot more actions that I do in my photography business. I love taking pictures, but Part of it also is finishing pictures. I'm going to share everything with you guys. Uh, I hope you appreciate. I hope you love what I do. I'm, there's going to be a lot more reviews. So please subscribe so I can share a lot more. So subscribe guys. Please subscribe. Let's, let me share with you the, the three images I did today quickly. It took me a few seconds. And here is the first one. A great color picture and then an amazing black and white. Let me show you the second one. Beautiful color and perfect black and white. It's constantly amazing. And the last one, beautiful color, but exquisite black and white. I'm sure you enjoyed my team one of my techniques there are a lot more coming so i hope you join me next time coming soon could be a couple of weeks or maybe earlier love you guys yeah